you came away victorious. The final what up, everybody? It is Rhino. Welcome back. MLB 15, the show road to the show with our starting pitcher, Dan S. And we have one hell of a matchup coming up in this episode. Going up against the Washington Nationals and Steven Strasburg, who is 8 and 6 with a 3.46 ERA. So not, you know, not great numbers for him. But he still has the goods. We got a couple points, not a lot of points. You can't even do that. That's really upsetting. <laughs> really upsetting. Let's see. The Angels did battle with the M's at look, look at all this crap the Angels we did. came away with the win, the final five to three. The San Diego Padres here. were in the Lone Star State to match Slow up velocity. the Rangers in an interleague contest, and the Rangers came away with the win. The final score was ten. And do that. And that. Nate Shearer nope. showed off and his that? power, blasting two home runs and picking up three RBIs in the process. His modest hitting streak was also nope. extended to five How about that? games. Nope. Of course not, because they're the same numbers. Oh, so, that makes sense. Park. And it was the Marlins who emerged in extra innings with the win. The final score was three to two. Mike Dunn and that's well all too hot. To okay. First victory of the so year. then we'll go. The Diamondbacks paid visit we, get the field we can get a fielding? We can get a fielding. Can't get a reaction, though, but we can get a fielding. So let's go there. The dominating complete game shutout on the and then we're going to hop on in. We are almost at the All-Star game. I'm obviously not going to be in it. But, you know, it's fun. I might be. Let's see. I got one. And one. Two, three. Four, five. Unless they do it the other way. One, two, three, four, five. So either way, it seems like my next game is going to be against the Yankees. The Yankees in Yankee Stadium, which should be exciting. But first, we have to worry about going up against the high-powered Washington Nationals. Let's see if we can do. It. Oh, we made a trade. Uh, they traded Chris Tillman. To the Rockies for Charlie Blackman. I don't know why, because we already have Adam Jones as a center fielder, but. But Blackman's DH, so I mean, I mean, I guess that's kind of the thing. It's like, oh, you know, we're American League DH, yay, but. I don't really get it. But who am I? But we're rocking the orange. Are we wearing the hat that has the white on it? Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Anybody. Here comes the one two. Line fouled off okay. to the left and a few rows back. Look at all that orange. Look at all that orange. Here he comes again, one two. To two balls and two strikes now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. And this ball is also you see, now you can say he's fighting off pitches, but I mean, before that, I don't know if I would say he's been fighting off a ton of pitches. Now he's definitely doing it. Freaking Denard Span. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Boy, this is all about understanding the importance of being that leadoff hitter. That's eight pitches in this at bat he's seen already. And that misses ball four. You're a jerk, so Denard. I hate you. Today, but the man will and I know who you are. I know you can run. Now here's the first pitch. A Turn it. The hole. Oh, I figured that was being thrown to the second baseman. I'm sorry. And by thrown, I mean hit to the second baseman. I was super late on that. That's a strike on I was ready for this one. I was ready. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Oh, my God. Oh, I lost the bag. To think, I raised my fielding. Like, what the hell? A bumped up raised fielding of one point. You're telling me I can't make that play? Come on. Come on. 
I mean, he's getting ahead, he's mixing his pitches. Short way. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Bryce Harper. Look at this, 310. Good for you, Bryce Harper, hitting 310. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. The Orioles here in their new orange jerseys, or perhaps their new old orange jerseys. There you go. Haven't been seen since 1992. Swing and a ground ball. Yeah, well, they're back. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. And you know, against a lot of second basemen, this is going to be an infield single. But yeah, but this is shoot, baby. And then maneuvers his body into a good throwing motion. Shoot a loop. Ryan Zimmerman now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Now here it comes. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Good eye there by young Zimmerman as he moves ahead in the count two and one. He's fallen behind now three and one. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success. There we go. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. This is pop up. in the air toward the right side of the I'm inside. staying away. And here's Davis to tuck it in. And Not that I don't want to cover now. first. It's, you know. As far as rookie pitchers are concerned, he looks pretty poised out there. He doesn't have that deer in the headlights look that many guys have. He's just going All about right. his business and... He gets the pop up there. Ian Desmond is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Oh, he shoots this oh, one into center field snap. for a base hit. No runner, no runner. Go hold, go hold. Well, this looks like one of those swings where it was just a flat out guess. This is not one of those guys where you, I guess you say. get off speed and then just react to the fastball. You're not going to just react to 98. But give him credit however he did it. He put a good swing on that ball. Wilson Ramos is at the plate as he watches ball. Turn it. Oh, we don't even need to turn it. Never mind. Throw on to Davis takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Nationals lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Yunel Escobar will step in here to start their half of the third with the top of the order to follow. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Here it comes. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he's on ball two. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it right here. Let's go change. Uh, Let's go change. Three and oh now. That didn't work. But this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. There was also a 3-0 count. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. And that's what I call an intelligent at-bat. Right? It's good knowledge of the strike zone, and more importantly, of how the home plate umpire calls the strike zone. Got himself a leadoff walk. Nope. Now a ground nope. Ball towards the hole. Are you be sure that didn't hit that guy? First, but Are we sure? It down. And that runner will go no further than second. Go on. Are two aboard now. I'm plugging stuff from my computer. Right you might have heard a donut. Because I have to get holding, it plugged. To charge my headset, cause it's beeping in my ear and it's really annoying. Beeping in my ear and it's really annoying. Un momento, and I'll throw a pitch shortly. This thing dies a lot, it's almost like I use it all the freaking time or something. Okay, we're good to go. Here's Nate McLeod now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Here comes the 1-0. -oh. 
swinging a ball hit that's well a little foul right side, but this will get into the crowd now the one one here to McLeod now a swing and a that's another ball, foul ball but a foul ball one and two the count now one two and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball both try a splitter two hits a piece thus far popped up towards the seat. That's now where I want the splitter out of play Another two two. And he got oh, later, dude, that was right down the middle. That wasn't even a good one. Jason Worth, like, that sucked. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. In the air to right center. Pierce and caught. I like it. Oh, and he's not tagging? All right. That dude must be slow. Whoever he is. Anthony Rendon will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Just off the outside, and it's one and oh. Third inning, no score to this point. Now ball lifted high in the air towards shallow. And that is how you escape a first and second with no one out. And the two out threat will not come Jam. as the inning is over. Bryce Harper will step in to start things for the Nationals. He'll be followed by Ryan Zimmerman waiting on deck. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left. The spiritual line. leader of the Washington Nationals, Ryan Zimmerman. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Not much oh, and Harper, try and hit the 500 feet. I was kind of kidding. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that Fitchie might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. That was not where I wanted that. One and two. Not too sure how you take that one on Owens. Yeah, not too sure how you call it a ball either. And he'll try I agree. fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Two and two. This is a foul ball. Come on, Harper, you're killing me here. Hey, just stop it. Here's the two and two offering. Stop it. There we go, later to do. Ryan Zimmerman will dig in. He's popped out his first time. And this is lined foul over the Orioles dugout. The pitch. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Well, I deserve it. You're talking 88 miles an hour. You think you can hit it, but it just disappears on you. Hit on the ground is shortstop. Is that JJ? On to first, takes care of Zimmerman for the second out of the inning. Yep, JJ. JJ. will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And here's a fastball called for strike one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And this Whoa, is down the line. To deep left. But Young caught. Is gonna have room out there Good job. This away to retire the side. We'll see Adam Jones when we come back. Now the first pitch. That was a bad one, but he popped it up. Get away from him. Get away from him. Nice. Like everyone get the hell away from that man. Yunel Escobar will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. And the second pitch of the inning is hit on the ground out to short. On to I like it. First I like two, two pitches, two outs. Yeah, it's not like he needed any help. He's pitching well enough as it is, but this is I'm going to throw something that's clearly going to be hitable and hope he hits it out somebody. He's more and more confident he did not. Every passing batter. Now here's the pitch. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Here's the pitch. And he laid off the O2 splitter. That's not where I wanted that. Not even close. Pitch on the way. One two pitches swung on and lifted. Jones has got it. Center field. Jones. Yeah, baby. Is he a gold glover? Does he want to go glove? 
Oh, baby, three runs. I like it. That's what I like to see. That's a strike. Who are you kidding, Ump? So apparently the table setters have not been getting their Oof. chores done. Way Oof. dead and missed as he took something off there. One and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it has Goodbye, little dude. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance, you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right side, and that just about got the first base coach. Pitch on the way. And Oof. Fastball on 0-2, but it misses Come on. one and two now. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order. That oh, that's really going to be a double. Oh, Adam, way to hold that to a friggin' single. Look at that photo of Jason Worth. That was absolutely ridiculous. Anthony Rendon will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seat. Comes set. Now the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball. 1 and 1. He waits. Now the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He set. Now the pitch. Now a ball grounded foul over foul ball. The okay. What the hell happens? Uh, what no the? Runs, three hits. That looked and weird. No errors so far for the Nationals. Oh god. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to All right, worst stop, so that means it's not a home run. And I like it. Handle this one for route number 2. I like it a lot. Bryce Harper will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. And he and got a single. Damn it. No, no, no. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay. Ryan Zimmerman will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. God, it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. They're running. He's always oh, out. Yeah. Oof. Is over. One left for Washington. Still down three nothing. First pitch coming. Ryan Zimmerman is at the plate as he looks at ball one. I don't know what to throw. I don't know what to throw. One zero pitch now. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul. Oh, ball. nice snag. Oh, don't fall. Oh, my God. I thought the person was going to fall. The one, one pitch. They would have been kicked out. They would have been kicked out. Corner all afternoon. And you can tell guys at the plate, they're starting to get frustrated. He just hasn't made many mistakes at all. And when he has, they've been out of the zone. Oh, off of me. Oh, I got it. I kicked it to my glove. How nasty am I? They will get an out here. And time now to see quite where that got him. That was that was dirty. And his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm great. I'm good. Get out of here. I kicked it into my glove. That takes talent. In for the third time as he swings and that takes talent. That one, it's nothing in one. He continues to get ahead here. <laughs> oh, hiccups. Control. I think you need to guard yourself. Hiccups out of nowhere. A wild hiccup appears. These people are walking down the stairs solely just to turn around and walk up the stairs. Like what? Trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Look at this dude. Or not? Look at him. He just walked down. Now he's he's going up. After the splitter, and he works it back to a full count. Late on the fastball, there is this one skied out toward right. All right. Is right there as he takes it for the second out. Wilson Ramos will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. 
Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One one pitch All right. on and don't mess it up. Line to third. Throw on to Davis, Good job. Takes care of him and that'll end the inning. Add another zero as it's up I to don't think that was Manny. Out inning so far. Matt Thornton will get the ball now. As yeah, it was not. It was Julio Franco. Start the home seven. Yunel Escobar will step in. A ground out victim as last time. In there, strike one. Well, that man right there is into his eighth inning of work now. Any concerns going forward? Well, I think the only thing you have to worry about is that pitch count. You see right I like it. There. Other than that, he's earned the right to stay out there. Usually the other team will tell you when you're starting to get tired. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Denard Span. That's a strike on. One away as he looks at a ball that's 1-0. Next pitch here will be number 100 through seven and third. That one's a called strike. Back even at one. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. On to Davis. Bit of a low throw, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Nate McLeod will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And a strike to even the count, one and one. And you would think that this heat would start affecting him sooner or Oof. later, but it hasn't so far. If anything, he's getting stronger as the day goes on. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. Okay, no I'm going to go yet. change up, blown no in. So far for the Nationals. Now a swing and a softly hit ground. You got it, you got it. I like it. Gets him and the side is Eight and innings of shutout baseball. Eight shutout innings thus far. Home half of the eighth straight. Don't send me out there. The they Orioles did. Three. They did. The I was about to be like, they did not, Jason but they did. Will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so. Quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. All right, they're probably going to take me out now. <laughs> way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Really? Okay, they're going to... We'll stand in now. Let me go for it. I'm kind of out of energy here, Coach, though. 0 for 3 thus far. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. There we go. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Well, you get the sense ah. that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get Catch one, it! Could shoop! Right Raise your glove! Game, because right now, they just seem out. Raise your glove, Shoop! Oh, there it is. They shouldn't have brought me out there to freaking begin with. A walk. Nice. And out. A run. Throw an error. Two more runs. The game is freaking... Now we're losing. Way to go. Blown save. I only gave up one earned run because of freaking throwing error. And we get a walk off. Because of Shoop. Oh, no. Shoop just tied it. Never mind. I forgot we were freaking losing. All right. We're just going to sit. Hey, we win. Yay. Shame on you people. Shame on all of you. Coach, screw you. I shouldn't have been out there in the night to begin with. I partially blame you. I blame whoever had the throwing error. You all suck. But Shoop saved us. Shocker. What a shock. Shoop saved us. All right, guys. That is where we end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Peace.